Hey guys, Jason from Faction Marine. I've been giving lessons for quite a few years here on wake surfing at Surf MN, and we get a lot of students that, that are trying to learn the 360. It's like, as you know, you're probably watching this video because you're trying to learn the holy grail of wake surfing, the 360. What we've got here is kind of a three-part process, uh, three different videos, and we're gonna start off with the, the first, which is foot placement and, and dropping the rope. The second part's gonna actually focus on something that you might not think is important to the 360, but that's gonna be edge control, uh, riding switch, riding revert, and then working on cab 180 um, to get used to switching our edges so we can control our board when we come around. And then lastly, we're gonna work on the 360 and how to come in land the 360 with a slight pause, control it so that you're landing it time after time. I've, I've taught a lot of people how to do 360s using this process and I think it'll work well for you. So watch our three part series here and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you land in the 360. So what we're working on here first is the initial get up and you can see he's holding his board with the bottom of the board looking at us. Um, you want the bottom of the board facing with both hands, um, the front hand kind of in the middle of the board, the second hand over to the side towards your tail. He's gonna sit back and put his back foot on and then his front foot on while holding the rope with his front hand. The driver's putting pressure on, so the driver's in gear right now. The rope's tightening up. The rider ready? He's ready, he moves both hands to the handle. Arms are straight, shoulders are back. Weight is all on the heels here and looking out to the side. So this is gonna be one of the simplest ways um, that we like to teach people to get up behind the boat. Um, then he gets into the bottom of the wave and that's where you wanna stand and let go with your rear hand. So the hand that's behind you. He's gonna put a little bit of weight, cheat your foot into the wave. So you can see he's moving his front foot. So you need to have a lot of weight on your front foot to wake surf. And so by moving your front foot in, that's a little bit of a cheat code to help you get that pressure to ride that rail. Um, you'll see in our later series why this, why having uh, pressure on your rail is really important, um, especially on a skim style board. Okay, so now he's got his foot where he wants it, back foot's towards the back kick pad. Back arm is back, bends at the knees, and now puts weight on his front foot to come forward. And then he's gonna drop the rope, maintaining gas. You can see he dropped his hips a little. And that's all you're trying to do. Back arm back, front arm forward, bending at the knees, not at the waist. And you're looking at the corner of the boat. And that's how we're gonna drop the rope, making sure your foot placement is towards the wave, especially on the front foot. Your shoulders and arms are making a T, straight back. And then your knees are bent, not your waist. And then you want to look and aim at the corner of the boat. That's dropping the rope 101. Now, some of you might think this is a little bit unorthodox, but I think this is really important because what we're doing now is teaching you edge control, both heel side and toe side rail. Uh, and we're teaching you to get up revert and to ride switch stance. Uh, when you're doing a 360, of course, at some point you are riding backwards and you got to understand how to roll your board to keep it flat so that the edge doesn't catch, but then also initiate an edge when you're coming through into the 360. And that's what we're working on here with what I call edge control or rail control. He's going to get up here in revert style. So that's going to mean he's got the, the fin pointed forward on a skim style board. Now you can do this on a surf style. It's a little harder because the fins are bigger. Um, but I, I've seen plenty of people do it, um, and this is a good way to get up to learn to ride switch. Okay, he's ready. So very important to realize when you're doing this that you, you want to make sure because now your foot placement is going to be key because your fin is forward. You don't have that in the water steering you. So Cade's gonna move his front foot in a little bit here. That's gonna help him cheat towards that wave so he has more rail. And what I mean by that is look at the rail towards his toe side or towards the wave. And you can see how that's digging in. That's how he's really steering here. You wanna get weight on those toes towards the rail side. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna carve out on our heels, grab the handle with the other hand, and we're gonna slide heel slide into the 180, keeping our knees bent, and then going right back into that wave. Now he's going to adjust his heels to cheat heel side towards, or the wave side. And this is, now his fin's in the back, he's got a little more help. Watch his front elbow. You wanna be digging in that front elbow when you come to the 180, okay? Um, very important that you get your foot placement towards the wave with your front foot. You're gonna have a substantial amount of weight. I'd say 60 to 70% of your weight is on your front foot. Um, and about 60, 70% of that weight is on the heel side. Um, so here we go. Now he'll go into the cab 180, riding slightly up the wave, up the wave, and then switching back to 180. So th that was practicing them both with the rope. Now he's gonna do it without the rope. Okay, so he gets his feet dialed in. Once you have those mastered, There he did it with the rope. Now he's gonna let go. He let go, he's riding heel side. You can see when he gets his arms up, he struggles. Keep the elbow in, elbow in and down. We got a little bit of rollers here. And then he's gonna reach down with the back, the lead hand, and pop that 180 around, okay? That would be like a cab 180, switch, switch front side 180. Now he's riding revert again. Now this time, we're gonna go with no rope. All right, so he's getting his feet prepared. He's gonna get ready to drop the rope. Um, he's aiming what is now the, the tail, uh, but it is the front of the board. He's aiming that at the corner of the boat to stay straight. Very important that you keep your chest up on this. Chest up. Do not bend at the waist because you'll go out of control. All right, here we go for the front side 180 in the flats. One quick pump. He pops his hips, dumps his elbow, and you can see it's butt down, butt down. He's readjusting his hip, or readjusting his heels, sorry, to the wave. And now he's going to put his hand in and go halfway up and turn 180. So that's the way we're learning to control our board going both ways. This is part three in our how to land a 360 wake surfing. And now we're riding regular. We taught you edge control. We taught you how to ride switch. And you'll see why. This is a nice, slow 360. And we've been working on teaching you to ride switch because you're going to stall this baby out super styly. And in learning it this way, it's going to lead real, very naturally to the alley-oop. Okay, he's starting at the sweet spot. He's going to grab the wake, go halfway up, Stall, right switch backwards for a second, and then turn it the rest of the way. Let's do it again. He's gonna come forward, hand in the wave, halfway up, and there he went and, and turned a little faster that time. That's likely the way that you're gonna learn to do them. Nice and in control, and this leads to consistency on the 360. If you've had a hard time doing the 360, it's likely that you don't have this edge control down consistently nice and easy, very smooth. That's gonna lead to you doing ollie-oops next. Let's do an ollie-oop quick. You'll see now he's just gonna add a pop into it. And that'll allow you to link your spins together too. 360s, 720s, 1080s. We really enjoy teaching you guys. I've been teaching surf lessons for many years here at Surf MN. Taught a lot of people how to do uh, wake surfing tricks and we appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions, you can message us and us at Surf Man and Fax Rainier will help you guys do the best wake surfing you can.